Hello? <laughs> uh, I hate when I promise to do things and I don't want to do them. <laughs> but because I said I would, I have to show up. So here I am. I said I would show up to do a light language video. So I know that in the New England area, a lot of people, New York, people felt an earthquake. I did not feel the earthquake, but I did have a dream about it last night, which the minute I was found out about it, I started going through my notes. I was like, I wrote about that dream this morning. So I went through and I looked at the notes and there it was. I had a bunch of dreams and I, I you know, I was aware it was connected to the eclipse in terms of the dream and I just kind of, the message was to not be afraid. And um, for those of you that know me, know I'm going through a, a time of grief right now. Um, and so I've been very much so cocooning in very deep spiritual work and just really um, cleansing and purifying and working with my guides and just feeling like I'm resting. Like I, I did something for about an hour today and it took all of the energy that I have. So I'm... I'm here, but I'm showing up because, because I said that I would. So let me just take a moment. Now, for those of you that don't know what light language is, light language has been a part of my life, my, my whole life, even before I understood what it was or how it connected to my divine plan. But for me, light language is a language of my, my guides, my soul, that doesn't have or need translation though sometimes I will get certain visuals and images and feelings and knowings that go along with it so I can kind of interpret the the overarching message but the reason why it works for me is because I'm um, you know I'm a Gemini moon so that means my brain is, is always thinking and I'm uh, so for me the minute someone starts to put words to something, I start using that ego side of my personality, that personality part of me that reads everything and knows everything and and wants to like, well, what's the definition of this? And, you know, try, trying to dissect it and understand it. And light language doesn't allow me to do that. It's just something that I feel. And so something i've been seeing a lot right now is this between the lunar eclipse on the 24th with the full moon huge shifts have happened in my life so i'm i'm sure this is just the beginning mm. so i am here in humble service i am letting go of the old stories that are no longer part of my divine plan the ways that I looked at situations, the way that I felt about situations, and I'm allowing myself to evolve and grow out of those old stories, and I'm opening myself up for the new. And that's really what this eclipse season is. They say that, you know, the people that are in your life after the eclipse are meant to be in your life, and that this is a, a, a cleansing period of letting go of old stories and old paradigms and really moving into this new energetic shift, the age of Aquarius, where we are now. So much is happening. The energetic shifts since 2012 have been consistently knocking me on my ass. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm here to do. You know, I, I came in to be a, in service. And, you know, even when things happen in my life that are traumatic, you know, I've always, not always, I've recently been able to find the beauty in these and search for the lessons and search for the love and see that there is um, a divine plan in it. Like what, what is the gift in this for me and how can I accept, welcome and receive this gift? So right now is like a magnifying glass on that message since 2012. And it's like this week period from March 24th through April 8th, everything is intensified. The feelings are intensified, the emotions are intensified, the relationships are intensified, the dreams are intensified, the shamanic journeying are intensified, my guided meditations are intensified, the healings are med you know, everything's like like just like hyper focus, bold print. And so I'm calling on my guides to help me ground my energy, allowing me to be a pure and hollow channel 
for this information to come through and to heal me where I am in my state of grief and in my state of unfolding and in my state of yearning and letting go of the old and opening to the new and also mirroring that to the collective or whoever is watching this video. Let that healing to just these words and these sounds to just to wash over you. I am in the process of working on a light language activation course. So if you are interested in that, um, please let me know. I also have uh, a course online for chakra embodiment, allowing you to understand chakras, okay. understand chakras through uh, embodying them and really connecting to them. This is um, primarily for people that are just starting out on the path and don't really understand what a chakra is. Um, though I've had many people who have taken the course um, who are friends of mine who are very skilled and knowledgeable and they've also received healing out of it. So it's for everyone. I price it accordingly. I also have my cosmic improv workshops, which is healing through laughter and manifesting through play, um, which I'm taking a bit of a pause on right now because I need to get some joy back in my life right now. <laughs> but the healing through laughter sounds like something I can do myself. So We'll be rebooting that too soon too. Mm, what else to share? I do a monthly series called Heart as a Compass where I interview fellow healers on the path and we share our information and our love and light with others. Each month has a different theme which was given to me by my guides at the beginning, the end of last year and it's been amazing to see how this year has fit in. Very interesting. Um, January was intentions. February was self-care. March was abundance. And April is rebirth. So I'm feeling all of those messages intently. I'll be interviewing my dear friend Larissa uh, Riley uh, coming up soon um, for her, or her rebirthing. She did recently did a retreat to Egypt and... She's just a, a glorious soul and a magnificent healer, and I'm so excited to hear about rebirth from her perspective. What else do I have going on? I'm going to be rebooting and reconnecting my full moon guided channel meditations, moving them to a new group um, once a month instead of every week, just to help with the complexities of my life um, a little bit. Uh, I have a couple other spaces that are looking to work with me as well. If you have a space and are looking for a spiritual teacher, a channel to come into your space, I would be honored to do that. I do group healings and activations, quantum clearings, crystalline soma healing, and of course the workshops I've named. I already feel the spirit kind of coming in and moving through. So just give me a moment to connect in. Something to keep in mind is that this transmission comes through my hands, my eyes, and my voice. If you wish to close your eyes, that's perfectly fine. Know that the healing will still connect to you. You want to watch that's fine just let the sounds wash over you where guides are just kind of slowly kind of igniting the space seems like there's going to be people watching this who are new to light language so we're just kind of opening up and clearing out those cobwebs the fear and doubt Remembering Pentecost, Yeramana, Siakana, and the gift of sound frequency and vibrations of healing that goes and beyond the knowing. Yeramakana, Siya. This intention is for healing for those of us that are walking into this eclipse season to help heal us, prepare us, purify and cleanse so that our intentions can be of the highest white light and the most divine timeline for ourselves and for the collective.
Nyena ka rumoshia ka mkonia bora kiana akiana ka pushia ka ukonia sakara ukuno mrumo konadia na kana mana ya kana sia pratania ka sia pa ania ata mrum mornia an marana ayasa ka moshia ka rumonia sakana miana kasa nyena kana safrum ya makana ya maka ia ia wa ia moron sa komosnia kasia pa na ia na aka mornia sa pania sa kasia mana ia rafushia afonia kasha amukonia sa ana komosnia mana ia na kanu ho o he na ki ia ko unia ki o kono o ia na ki ia ia ko unia ka ni ia kono ia ka na si ka a ia na ka na si ka na o kono ia ka a ia na ia ka na o no kono ia arana na si a ia na na sa a ia marakana romo kosh ni a sa fara na ki a sa fara ia mo kono se fara ia ka na o si ia na ka ia mruna si a ra Morona se a cana se a mocona e a na cana mana e a cana e a na cana saga faz e a na ca me a cana e a na mocono me a na sa varana me a ca me a na ca se a na coxe me a ca mana se a cana o conia se a ca se a mocona e a ca me a cana e a cana coxe me a ca na me a ca mocomo coia se a ca e a morona dia da Morono kana siara mukonia kana ukonia kupuno ukonia ukonia siapa ukonia sekarang kainnya punya siapa kana ia kana kusnia kapusnia kana ia kana ukonu ia kana ohyo rona siapa kana ia sana kah ia kah mian nak kah uno kumu ia kana ia kana mian mianah mianah ah mianah ah mianah ah Yana ka, miyana ka ono kono ono kono iya kana ono komono iya kana iya ala iya kana mokoni ya a iya iya kana iya orono ne pono shia ka siya pana iya kana iya na ka siya proni ya sa kana iya poshnya miyana miyana ana o kono iya kana iya kana o iya kana iya kana o kona iya Ia kana ia kana unumpu ia mia kana ia kana mufni aya kana ia kana ia kana sofosia ka mia nakasa na ya 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 mu nya nya mu nya nya mu nya 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 kunya yo nu nya nya nu nya ia na un nya yo una ia kana yo kunu ko ia ka
Tell me your thoughts.